from the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Stacia Knight. Temperatures are still in the 90s for this Thursday evening. We're sitting at 93 in Owasso, 92 downtown, and 90 over in Broken Arrow at the Rose District. Pryor has dropped down to 88. Lucky folks over in Pryor right now, so it's on the toasty side. And we're getting ready for Battle of the Burbs, kicking off at 7.30 this evening, so just a little over an hour from now. And temperatures will be upper 80s to near 90 at kickoff, and then down to 83 by about 9.30 around the fourth quarter. So for the Owasso and Bixby game this evening. Clear skies, warm temperatures, and winds will be light. Now, to tomorrow morning, we start off with clear skies and temperatures not as cool as they were earlier this morning. It still won't be a bad start to the day, though. We're going to be in the 60s to low 70s, quiet start. In the afternoon, a mix of clouds and sun, but temperatures really warming up, and highs are expected to be a degree or two warmer than they were today. So, Tulsa, we're going to hit 96, Bartlesville will hit 97, and you'll be up to about 95 down in McAllister. Winds will be out of the southeast tomorrow at 10 to 15, and it'll be warm, of course, for Friday night football games. We have high pressure that's starting to settle in for Friday and into early Saturday, but it doesn't stick around. So we're just going to have a couple warm days before the weather pattern starts to change. Friday night football games, 92 at 7 o'clock, and then down to 85 by the 10 o'clock hour. This weekend, if you want to head to Area Lakes, I want you to pay very close attention, especially for our far southeastern lakes. Isolated chances of showers and storms will be possible. 10% chance at 10 killer. And then Keystone, you fall a grand. It's a very isolated chance, but please just watch for it. Up to 90 at grand on Saturday, 91 you fall at 94 at Keystone and 90 at 10 killer. Saturday's winds will be out of the southeast at about 10 to 20, but overall should be sustained around 10 to 15 and those gusts could get up to 20. Saturday morning, 60s and 70s, a few more clouds Saturday afternoon and like I mentioned, an isolated chance for a shower storm, especially down to the south southeast of Tulsa. Highs on Saturday afternoon will be in the 90s. Temperatures will be in the upper 80s by noon, but we'll top out in the mid 90s and it'll be toasty on Saturday. Sunday, more clouds in the morning. Rain and storms out in north central Oklahoma, and we may see some of this activity move a little farther to the east, getting into our area Sunday morning, but we have a better chance of rain and storms breaking out Sunday afternoon. Scattered rain, scattered thunderstorms are possible on Sunday, may have a few storms that are on the stronger side, and temperatures will be in the upper 80s to low 90s. If you have outdoor plans this weekend, I suggest Saturday over Sunday afternoon with the rain chances starting to pick up Sunday afternoon. You have to dodge a few more showers and storms. Storms. Monday into Tuesday, heavy rains could be possible, leading to maybe some localized flooding concerns late Monday night. Rainfall amounts, this is over 10 days. With an unsettled pattern next week, we have multiple rounds of rain and storms in the forecast, and there could be some locations that hopefully could pick up a couple inches of rain. Hopefully that doesn't fall too quickly with flooding issues. Hopefully that can be just a gradual process all through next week. It's hot the next couple of days. Rain chances picking up by later this weekend. That's your night. Day. We'll be right back.